Welcome to the Benning Report. I'm Sarah Tate. And I'm Nate Snook from the Fort Benning Public Affairs Office. Thanks for joining us. The annual International Sniper Competition brings two-man sniper teams from around the globe to Fort Benning to see if they have what it takes to be top sniper. Four, three, two, one. Time! Lane two, eyes down. 32 two-man teams from around the world descended on Fort Benning for a chance to show off their skills and vie for top sniper. Not only is it a competition to see who will come out on top, it's an opportunity to work and learn from others. Getting together with all snipers from all over the world, you don't really get to do that much anywhere else as a sniper. You know, you usually work by yourself and you don't get to get with other guys from professions and learn what they do. This year's 14 events, ranging from the stress shoot to the stock lane, remain challenging throughout the three-day competition. But the biggest change this year, the weapon. The reason why we changed it this year is because we've been seeing a trend with, uh, it's, you know, it's more like a gear competition than it is actual shooting. Last year's event showcased high-speed weapons, but this year, to even out the playing field, the snipers competed with the M110 semi-automatic sniper system, the gas-operated rifle that's standard issue for sniper school. To be a good sniper, you don't need to use uh, any fancy weapons that you know somebody could build just for you. That what the Army gets for you is good enough, and that everybody should be able to do good with any weapon that they get. We prefer a bolt gun, usually over this, but. Uh... We, all, we also have the sass in our armor. After 72 hours of nonstop competition, only one team will be called top sniper. But all that competed will be walking away with an experience they wouldn't find anywhere else. This is a great opportunity for networking because you have teams from different services and different countries coming together and learning new tactics and new techniques. It's great to just interact and find uh, just useful tools that different teams have been using overseas and in training. Also, it's just a good training event. Everybody comes through and essentially that's what you have to take away from the whole competition. It's one big training event. 